What is up everyone, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. I got a really good one. I got the Record Box 7 update. Not only am I going to show you how to get it updated, which a lot of people don't show you, I'm going to show you how to get it updated. I'll, I'll show you a little bit of the ins and outs and what the big changes are and show you a little bit of what it used to look like as well because a lot of people forget right away and they're like, well, this is awesome that it's new and all that kind of stuff, but you don't get the comparison at all really. So definitely going to get into a lot of stuff today on Record Box 7, the new release, and see how it is looking. Is it an update or is it just, you know, a completely whole new thing? Let's find out. So thank you for tuning in to dj martini midwest reviews just know i love to do tutorials i love to do reviews and i love doing that uh research for you give it to you as easy as possible leave links in case you're interested in some of the things we talk about but mainly i'm just here to help guys i'm just here to help so if i can help one person out there i'm doing my job i feel good thank you so much please like subscribe and share if this is helpful at all and uh let's get into the video now if you do notice i got a kind of different background here it's a little bit darker sorry but my computer crashed in my office so i'm currently running a complete windows reinstall which is horrible for me because i'm gonna have to redo all my dj stuff it's it's a mess so i'm not too happy about that but i definitely need to keep bringing you videos so the show must go on and i'm gonna get this done mobily on a different laptop uh, i got my little uh podcast microphone here and and we're gonna get this done so let's jump into the video and i want to take you right away into record box 6.8.5 there i think there was another update but this is the last update I have on this computer and we'll go into that real quick all right so we have record box 6.8.5 or something really close to that and you can see this is what the GUI the interface the graphic interface look like so on the collection list it's a little bit different you used to go into here and you could go to your like your playlists and things like that so it looked a little bit different you couldn't like open multiple things uh, I also want to show you because they did change this but the interface for the menu you can see what the menu looks like here it's a little bit blocky sluggish you can see and then you got all these little subfolders down here so it, it it definitely needed some updating this looks really old in my opinion uh, so definitely uh, I, I've already seen the new one there's the features that we hear. You're going to have a lot more features now besides just the beat and the fast forward play cue in the new one. And you're, we're also going to be able to have a lot more uh, features with the uh, different streaming sections that you'll have as well. So it has all my music, all that kind of stuff. But like I said, this just looks old to me and it definitely needed some help. Uh, we go to right here and go to browser, one player, two players. So it, it it had the dual deck things and, and things you could do, but like I said, it just didn't have all the features that it will have in the new version. So we can go ahead and exit out of there, and we'll go to Record Box. We'll go to their website. No big deal. And you can see download for free. Record box DJ, and you can see record box seven right here. So, while we got the page actually open, we can kind of go over some of the new features from seven while we're here. That they did open and refresh the GUI, which is a graphic interface, and it looks different. And you can see that from where I had it before, you can see that it was like gray before, now it's a solid black, like most. The only ones that are kind of gray like that now still is virtual DJ which I do love. I am a virtual DJ fan, but like I said, this has more of a, you know, a Serato look in my opinion. They did re uh, do a reduction in CPU processing load up to 56% and 38% less power consumption. So it's going to make your laptop when it's off being plugged in, it's going to make the battery last a little bit longer. So that's good. And I think they're kind of reducing some of this for them to do a little bit better with stims, but Yes, so they're definitely freeing up some space so you can, uh, if you don't have the greatest laptop, you know, you're going to be able to still use this. So they do have the intelligent cues, uh, which we'll kind of go over really briefly. But basically, it, this is kind of the cool part for me. Anytime you can get things done a little bit faster, 
is great. And so what this is going to do is give you options to go to a menu and it's going to have intelligent cues where if you have, let's say like 10 songs that you've selected cues in and you put them in that list, it's going to go off that list and kind of arrange the same cues on other songs into your almost into your entire library if you want it to do that. And so that's going to free your space up. Now you're still going to, it's not going to be perfect. I guarantee that, but it's still going to free space up and get you moving a little bit faster. Like if you always sent a cue at the, I always sent one at the, at the beginning of the song and at the really almost like uh, maybe eight beats out from the end of the song, just so I know when that song's about to be towards the end. I always set those cues. It's going to automatically notice that I'm doing that and it's going to do that for me. So those are already two cues that are going to be set for me. I don't have to worry. Now I just have to go in and find, you know, breaks or vocals or whatever little beats that I'm doing and I can do that, but it's going to set some of that stuff for you. So I think that's really, really cool with the intelligent cue creation. And then the collection radar, this is pretty cool. It's not only going to do it for streaming, but it's going to do it for your local library where it's going to match songs. Now, Hercules DJ has done that for a while. So these aren't new things per se, but it's going to help you take tracks that are similar or that have the same flow, keys, BPMs, arrangements like that. And it's going to give you an example of what song that should come next. And, and that can really help you, you know, especially if you're a beginning DJ, you definitely want to know, you always want to know what's matching or, or maybe it's going to throw some new music at you that you've never heard of that you could try out and check out in that situation. So it's going to, it's going to open up those idea waves for you to be able to do a little bit more. So that's cool. Intelligent playlists, same thing, like I said, uh, it's going to fill similar tracks from the, the ones you've chosen, uh, BPMs, keys, artists, things like that. Uh, detection of vocal position. The dual player mode, like I said, it does have the operation of two in your analyzation preparation stage. You're, you'll have the two tracks, but you also notice you have stems there with highs, medium, low, EQ kill, sync, key shift, you know, all that stuff in the waveforms for you to be able to play the songs at the same time and, you know, add all that stuff in there. So it has a lot more options in that preparation column view. Uh, basically, it's just saying it, it switched the layout, which once again is not new in my opinion. But the way they had it before, you like I said, it was just all blocks, you know, and when you open things, it kind of went into, now it just opens blocks right below it. And before it was more like a bracket, I would say, than a column. Collaborative playlist. That's a little bit more, if you have the best version of Rekordbox, you can do a collaborative playlist if you're with different DJs. I don't see a lot of people using this actually, in my opinion, but it's a great idea. Like if you wanna share playlists with friends and things like that, it's just gonna share playlists unless you're using the same streaming service and you have those songs and you'll be able to like listen to them too. But still pretty cool just to be able to, you know, match things up with the workflow. The layout, like I said, gave you some more layouts. The media browser, like I said, I don't think, I think it's more of a virtual DJ style, which I do like with the media and the drop downs and the way it works. So I'm okay with that. Uh, a lot of people might not like that, but definitely like that. This is the new browsing experience with the streaming platform. Very, very cool because basically it's going to focus tracks. You're going to be able to see album art. You're going to be able to see all kinds of things going on and find new tracks it's going to help you evolve a little bit as a dj because it's going to really open a lot more stuff up to you you know everybody stays usually in their same old brackets but this is going to throw in some some zingers kind of something like you know title or apple or spotify would do when you're looking when you're playing a playlist they're going to add a song in there that you've never heard just so you can take a listen and if you don't like it you're going to skip it to the next song that you like this is how this is going to do it and then you might find a lot of new music so once again uh, very very cool that it works with your local library and with the uh, streaming platforms as well very very cool let's go ahead and get it working on our laptop here so we're going to go ahead and download it. it says download for free this is the newest version right here we're going to go ahead and agree with their license agreement and we're going to go ahead and hit download now it's going to go ahead and download now you can see that they still do have prescript, uh, subscription plans, <laughs> not prescriptions, but subscription plans uh, if you, 
for everybody, $30 a month, 23. They do have still the free option right here. But you will open you do there is a free version that you can just use and you'll you won't need to have any kind of uh, subscription to use the record box DJ software. Now sometimes it unlocks a version when you have the hardware like a controller or something and you plug it in and then it unlocks a little bit more for you as long as you have that controller and you put you go ahead and register it it's going to allow you to keep that open all the time instead of having to have to it plugged in and for it to open that when it does that so that's a cool little extra feature too that i forgot to bring up that uh it'll give you the way to ability to open that up and so if i had my notes here i would have remembered that but uh definitely there but still has a, a subscription based items for you to pick up this says yearly let's go ahead and go to monthly real quick and see monthly is eleven dollars but like i said there is a free version all right so just to look at the new seven we'll go through it right here new gui added browsing media collection filters new browsing streaming column view horizontal sub browser new preference design added info window added intelligent queue feature added dual player layout for export mode added collaborate playlists collection radar feature streaming radar feature added owner registration feature that's what i was just talking about with you can plug in your controller register it and then when you unplug it you'll still have that feature to be able to use the software for preparation free trial of see some of those extra features and then ability to display registered tracks when selecting the playlist folder and then a subscription based plan computer activation status is now always displayed on the app so it, it always tells you what subscription plan and what's going on and what you have so and here's system requirements still windows 10 windows 11 you can see some uh, os sonoma ventura monterey 12 ventura 13 14 i9 5 3 which is pretty good ryzen 1000 or later so that's good and then the m1 they're going with the m1 always or better from apple so very very cool sorry to go through some of those fast but i want to show you how to get this fired up so we went ahead and downloaded it so now we just have to go to that download folder and go ahead and open it uh, if it had a zip file uh, it looked like a little zippers on here you'd have to itch extract that file and then we get this file on the bottom here but it's already been done so i can go ahead and extract all now i guess i do have to extract it so we're going to go ahead and do that so it's extracting the file and it's going to put it right back in here in my downloads and now you see that there's the install right there and then i can go ahead and click on it and we're going to go ahead and install it hopefully it uninstalls my old one and then installs the new one so we'll see what happens here like i said we're all doing this together so we'll definitely check it out hopefully everything works out smoothly but we got that now we're going to go ahead and confirm we got english once again their agreement we go all the way to the bottom we can hit i agree and then next we want to wherever you want to install this I want to install it right on my C drive, which is my local Windows drive where I have all my Windows files, including the Windows 11. We are live here still, so we're going to see how long this takes to get done. I am using an i7 10th gen with the NVIDIA. I don't know what version it is, but it's not too old. I think this is a 2021 laptop, so it's only a couple years old. Still pretty good in my opinion. This is an Asus Zen notebook, I believe it is. Do have a review on this laptop if you want to check that out. Has worked really good for me. I do use it for DJing. Uh, I have used it many, many times. All right, so that completed. Now it says complete the record box install, and it says run record box. We're going to go ahead and finish. I can close this back off, exiting out of all this other stuff. So that's another reason why this might be working a little bit slower is I am running I am running OBS in the background. So that could be a reason why my laptop's running just a little bit slower. I do hear the fan running. So it is running pretty crazy. All right. So here it is. It does have a video that you can watch right away. You know, we don't really need to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. 
showing you all the new features that we just went over. But I do want to show you how they kind of work when we get there. Choose your plan. Now, now this is what I was just saying. There, there is a free version. And now that I'm noticing, you know, we'll see what you get when you get to the free version. So, all right. So you can see that there is a free 30 day trial, but it does say free on the top here. Let's go ahead and OK for now automatically back up yes we want to do that here's the version you can see it does look updated I, I will give it that it does have a fresh clean look does kind of still remind me with the library over here if we go to your library this is yeah very similar here's my music so I have all my music here and so it's populating all my music and that was very very easy to get into so that is very very cool so all my music's there we can get into this I can low tracks you can adjust your bpms how you want it i think that's good now see i don't have dual tracks in here i guess i do here all right so we do have dual tracks now you can see one's on the top one's on the bottom here and you know a very very clean look so very cool there so another thing i wanted to show you is those options really quick if you go to it actually has me on a trial it went from free to trial that's great so I guess I'm using my 30 day trial right now. Anyway, so you can see how now the actual settings menu is a lot different. It's pretty cool. It has these little shows them all in here. Very nice. It's similar and it still has like the two files on top, but they made it a little bit easier in my opinion. A lot of options that you can go into audio DJ system, how you want it to look browser some advanced settings here shows where my music is even though it says trial on the top it does say that I'm still on the free plan but yeah you can see it all there let's see let's go let's go ahead and close this and let's go down to the more options we have here this is our devices history recordings and here's that radar here's where those new collection radar streaming radar you know all those things so you can use some of those items displayed related track list here's the Q analyst playlist I have this is locked for me because I'm on a free trial here you were to download some songs in here and then you put your cues like I said you set your own cues then and then go ahead and set it up it's going to go ahead and make smart cue adjustments for you on every track so you can and you can adjust that however you like and I can't do that like I said because I'm on a free trial at the moment you got the tree view and the column view but they have B port your explorers over here they do have a search bar here which is a new thing so if you wanted to find out how your Q say you wanted to find that Q analyst then you know this is how you can set it for you know set cue during analysis right here you can do auto or manual or you can have a hot you know how many cues do you want it to set for or all the way up to 8 12 you know you can do all this through memory uh, so you can go ahead and look that look for that pretty easy like I said I don't have that because it's locked but uh, if I do the free trial for a while just to check it out, I'll be able to uh, mess with that a little bit. But anyways, yes, very, very easy to search whatever you'd like to find. It's very easy now with that search bar. So that's another added feature that they did not do before. So, all right, a couple extra features on the side there. You can also see that they put these little bars in here so you can, you know, have all your marks, split things up a little bit, how you want sizing. But yeah, we can go back into our menu. We can get rid of this, open up the screen a little bit uh, to get into your whatever options you want. Or you can, you know, make things smaller or bigger like you, or if you don't want some of these like the attribute, I don't really care about that. So we could take that out. We can make these smaller, these little windows by just uh, dragging at the top here. So we can make that a little smaller, make that a little smaller like to have the file names in there we could take the rate like I don't want the rating we could take the rating out so very very cool album artist <clears throat> track track artwork 
things like that. You can preview it. So we can preview the song, which is very cool. I do like that part of it. And so it's very easy. And all you got to do is click right above on this. And you can add whatever you would like in there. Mix name, disc number, size, year. If you have that information, you can add that in there, which is pretty cool. And like I said, you can just uh, click out of there by clicking. And then, like I said, you can adjust how much room you want to give each section as well. So I'll probably give the title a little bit bigger section here. Sometimes my tracks don't ma match my file name, so sometimes I like to have the file name in there too. But all right, so I think that's all I got for you today. Hopefully that was this was helpful to one person out there. Uh, showed you everything that I can show you. We showed you how to download this, how to find it, how to a little comparison to the old one. Also, how to look for some of the items within it. We talked about the new items. Hopefully, this is helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been DJ Martini, Midwest Reviews. Give me a like or subscribe, and we'll catch you really soon on the next video or tutorial. See you later.